from the New England Motorcycle Museum and I have this absolutely mint, highly prepared Kawasaki Ninja 500. This bike right here is loaded with extras. I'll go through all that in a second. The best part about it is it only has 1,900 miles, barely broken in. This is the 2008 model, uh, which is the Epitoma design that was uh, eventually discontinued. And the guys I talked to at the Kawasaki dealership rude the day it was discontinued because this is one of the most popular uh, middleweight bikes Kawasaki ever made for a lot of different reasons. One, it's super fast. It's half the size of a uh, Ninja 1000. It has the same engine as a uh, Ninja 1000 with pistons and everything and a compression ratio. So uh, it sounds just like a Ducati. It sounds absolutely amazing and it's sexy as hell. It's black with the uh, burgundy stripe on it. Um, arguably the best color. I rode this bike quite a bit. Um, I had this uh, up at my house for a couple months last summer and uh, rode it on and off. I'm, I'm six foot two, 215 pounds, and this thing rips with me on it, and I felt super comfortable. Uh, the bars seem to be in just in the right place. Um, it's got enough power for a passenger, although I rode it solo all the time, and uh, it's just a fantastic riding motorcycle. Runs beautifully. Um, I had, first thing I, when the bike came in, I only had 1,600 miles on it, and the first thing we did was put the custom exhaust on it. These are um, uh, Del Kevix, they come from the UK and they're stainless steel and they absolutely sound amazing. When I grew up around on this thing, people, you know, when I'm coming down the street, people, heads turn, people get, uh, you know, uh, stop what they're doing and look and check out the bike and I think they expect to see a Ducati uh, 1198 or something because that's what it sounds like a Ducati. It's uh, really got a unique sound. Bikes are mechanically brand new condition. Cosmetically, the bike's a 10. You're not gonna find a cleaner Ninja 500 with less miles on it. I'm guaranteeing you that. This thing's absolutely beautiful. I've got the title in hand for it right here. Um, it's 2008. Clean title from Connecticut. Um, second owner bike, two owner bike. So uh, it's a it's an absolutely gorgeous bike. Can you do some close-ups for you so you can get a look at it. Uh, in addition to the custom exhaust, it has a, um, the, uh, whoever bought this bike must have really cared about the rider because they, they uh, put a super high-end safety horn. And if you look at the, um, the tail light, it's got a, uh, show, show them the feature on the tail light. It's got the, the super blinking tail light. And, uh, you know, whoever had it obviously uh, didn't appreciate it. But it's uh, hopefully to go to a new home as somebody really enjoys it. Um, so if you want a motorcycle that has proven itself time and time again, look no further than the Kawasaki Ninja 500. The 500R is an older brother to the Kawasaki Ninja 200 and it boasts, or 250, and it boasts a beefier engine, 500 cc's. So it's a fantastic machine. And I'm a pro motocross racer. I have been for a long, long time. And I've ridden a lot of different bikes. And I love riding this bike. The suspension's pliant. The brakes are amazing. Um, it stops on a dime. It handles great. And it's, it's this is the kind of bike, it, it, I had a Hayabusa. And when I got on the Hayabusa, the second gear was 90 miles an hour. So um, not a lot of places around here you could really ring that thing out. This bike right here, it's got just the right amount of power where you can really send it on this thing and feel like you're riding the bike, it's not riding you. The, the Ninja 500 is equipped with a 498cc, it's liquid cooled, it's an inline four stroke twin engine, two cylinder, that can hit a top speed of around 120 miles an hour. This bad boy runs a quarter mile stock at 12.98 seconds. With the Del Kevick exhaust, the twin air filter, and it has a, a stage one dyno jet tuning kit. The guy, who, the guy who tuned this bike, the reason why it doesn't pop or burp or fart or, or have any issues with the pipes on it is it was tuned by a 11 year veteran Kawasaki uh, factory trained technician who worked on these all the time. He's um, also our main restoration expert at the New England Motorcycle Museum. So um, this, is a, this is a 12.98 second second, uh, 12.98 second quarter mile uh, bike stock. I would venture to guess this one's probably closer to 12.5 with, with the, the intake opened up and the uh, twin air uh, filter and the carb kit and, and the exhaust. So it certainly sounds like it's two seconds a, 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 a faster than, than the stock one, but um, it runs amazing. It's more than enough power for the street. The, um, you can leave, uh, when you ride this thing, you'll be grinning ear to ear on the track or on the street. The bike has quite a bit of mid-range power, but really comes through once you wind it up a bit. That's where the fun really begins, when you really start revving this bad boy up. I used to, I used to come, with, come home on it, I'd ride around the house. I have a circular driveway and it would piss everybody off in the house because I, I couldn't stop. I'd just be zooming around the house time and time again. And uh, it's just so much fun to ride and it's such a sexy bike. Um, so it's a lot of fun, it's affordable, 
The registration and insurance is affordable, and the thing's super light. It weighs in at 388 pounds dry, which isn't a lot more than a, than a dirt bike. Uh, and uh, it's, um, that really helps you in slow speed maneuvers, or if you need to stop the bike from tipping over, or if you're on a hill rolling backwards. The Ninja really comes into its own when used on a sprawling urban landscape on back roads where you can just let it rip. Its slim design makes it a breeze to lane split between California traffic, and the engine has enough grunt off speed uh, to um, get away from danger with just a twist of a wrist. In my opinion, seriously, I, 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 I own, I own, I don't even know how many motorcycles I own, over a hundred. Uh, I own the New England Motorcycle Museum, I own Kaplan Cycles, and I've ridden a lot of bikes. In my opinion, the Ninja 500 is the best bang for the buck on a motorcycle today that you can possibly get. Um, and this one here, with 1,900 miles, with fresh oil on it, completely, we just did it. It's less than 300 miles on the custom exhaust, the carbs, and I personally rode it to, to um, work out any bugs it might have had in it. Everything's tuned in perfectly, it needs nothing. This is ready for seasons of riding, so um, it's, it's just a fantastic bike. So, and like I said, in my opinion, the best bang for the buck. Taxes, insurance, original purchase costs, and the motorcycle gets over 50 miles of the gallon, the way it's set up right now. So it's almost like free transportation once you purchase it. So, um, the insurance rates on this bike are a lot less than the 600cc fours, and you'll save yourself a bundle on that, especially to keep it for a year. So, so if you're a veteran rider like me, or a new rider that's looking for a little more power than the Ninja 2, 250, which we had one of those, that's a toy. The Ninja 250 is an absolute toy. You can't compare the two. Um, this bike can, if you take a look at this motorcycle, um, I promise you, I guarantee you, you definitely will not be disappointed. These bikes are completely solid and reliable, and you can easily take this thing on a freeway, freeway or, or longer touring trips. I wouldn't hesitate to ride this bike cross country, and it's also great fun in the twisty mountain roads if you want to go uh, down south and uh, zoom down the uh, uh, Blue Ridge Parkway or something. You can get a set of soft saddlebags, and the best thing I like about it is the seating position. Uh, it's an economical motorcycle, will save you a bundle. Stone reliable, proven through the test of time, and if it does break, parts are readily available. More power, double the power of a 250, but not so much that'll get you in trouble. Like I said earlier, you're riding the bike, it's not riding you. Uh, the Ninja 500R used to be known of, as the GPZ 500S. It's a sport bike, obviously, with a 498cc parallel twin engine. Part of the Ninja mo mo series of motorcycles manufactured by Kawasaki in 87 to 2009. So this basic engine platform was in production for 20 years. Um, it, so obviously, if there are any bugs in it, they were completely worked out. Stone, solid, Japanese reliability. It has a more standard upright riding position with much better grip, uh, comfort and versatility than let's say the Hayabusa I had. You were bent over so much that your wrists were sore on it all the time. Um, so you get a combination of performance and low operating costs, which, which is great for experienced riders on a budget um, or riders like me that want to dominate a bike and feel like they're, they're beating it and it's not beating you. You, you get on this thing and you, can, you just feel like completely confident and safe on it because it handles so good. This was Kawasaki's best-selling sport bike for a number of years, and the EX500 is a popular mount for road racing. They have classes for the size of bike, offering a low price and availability of spare parts. If you want a bike for track days, this is the bike. Buy this bike. It also offers a wide but forgiving performance envelope suitable for new, higher, expensive campaigning 600cc or larger super sport machines. Uh, in latter years, the long-running Production Twins class of the LRS Racing Organization in New Hampshire was composed primarily of essentially stock EX500. So that's Loudoun, Loudoun, New Hampshire is what they're talking about. They had a class up there specifically for these bikes for road racing. And um, this one set up with the pipes and intake and the tires are in, you know, 1800 miles. This is ready to go right out on the track. And you're not, you're not spending 10 grand. You're not spending $2,000 a year on taxes and, and insurance. Uh, it's going to be dirt cheap for insurance because it's an OE. Remember, you've got a high 12 second quarter mile, 120 miles per hour, and it'll go, so 120 miles per hour, and it'll go 233 miles on the gas tank. So you only got to pull over like four times when you're in Florida. Um, fantastic machine. Uh, the EX500 led Cycle, Cycle Magazine to say, on price alone, the EX500 is peerless. There was no competition in this, in this price range that was even close to the quality of this bike. And in February 92, Cycle World magazine, in, in an article titled Bargain Busters, 
compared the EX500 to the Yamaha Seika 2, the Suzuki Bandit, and the GS500, and said that this bike blew, blew them away. In the, the 1994 article of Bargain Hunters, Cycle World compared the Ninja 500 to, to the, the Suzuki, the, the Katana, the GS500, and the FZR included that. It's our pick as the best overall deal in this group. So it's peerless, it's the best deal in its price range. Um, this one has just received over a thousand dollars of service uh, between the um, carb dyno jet tuning kit, the oil change, the custom uh, LED blinking rear tail light for safety, the high power dual horns, the brand new battery. Uh, I don't have the work order in front of me, but I, I think it was around twelve hundred fifty dollars for everything that was done though. So it needs nothing. Nineteen hundred seventy nine miles. Got the title right in hand here. So I hope it goes to a good home and, and you enjoy it like it was intended for the previous owner who uh, for some reason lost ownership on it. But uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Um, good luck bidding on the bike and uh, God bless America.